Hi everyone, it's Zaina from thesillygirlskitchen.com. Today we're going to be making a recipe of fried apple turnovers using store-bought puff pastry. All we have to do is make the filling, which consists of Granny Smith apples, brown sugar, cinnamon, and butter. All wrapped in puff pastry with a variety of delicious toppings. Let's get started. Okay, so for the fried apple filling, you're going to need four tablespoons of unsalted butter. Add that right into the pan. A fourth cup of light brown sugar that's packed. Add that. And just kind of stir that together so the butter gets nice and melted and the sugar is dissolved. Once that starts to get nice and melted, you're going to add one and a half teaspoons of ground cinnamon. And just mix that all to combine. Once this is all combined and ready to go, we're going to add our two Granny Smith apples that we cut. Uh, we peeled them first, cored them, cut them into small pieces, right into the pan. Now you're just going to mix this until the apples get coated in all that goodness. And once they're coated, we're just going to let this cook, stirring occasionally for about 10 to 15 minutes until when we pierce the apples with a fork, it goes in nice and smooth. Okay guys, so it's been just over 10 minutes and I've been stirring occasionally. They look to be done. All that yummy butter and brown sugar and cinnamon all soaked in with the apples. So let's do the fork test. Yep. They're nice and soft, but they still have just a little bit of a bite to them. You don't want it to be mush, but you want them to be nice and cooked through. So I'm just going to turn off the heat. So now we're just going to add about a quarter to a half teaspoon of vanilla bean paste. Make sure your flame is off. Just a little drop. I'm going to stir it in. And now we're just going to set this one to the side and let it cool to room temperature and then we'll make the turnovers. So I've already gone ahead and rolled out one of our puff pastry sheets. It's already thawed from the freezer. I'm going to take a fork and just prick it all over with um, the fork so it gets little holes all over the uh, puff pastry. That way the whole thing won't puff up because this is made to really rise really high. But I don't really want that in these little turnovers. I just want a nice crispy exterior. So I'm going to go ahead and pierce all over. Okay, once that's pierced, I'm just going to take a knife and cut this into four equal sections. As equal as you can get them. This is really a really simple recipe. It's really hard to mess up, I'll be honest. You just want to take a little bit of this apple filling, place it right kind of in the center but more towards one side. Fold it over till you form a little triangle. Then with that same fork, you're just going to pierce all the edges together. Also pierce just a little bit right on the top so you get a couple air holes. That way the steam can escape. Then you just continue with all the rest of them and place it on a sheet tray. Now, right before they go into the oven, I'm going to brush them with a little egg wash. All this is, is one egg lightly beaten with just a splash of water. You spread this all over the pastries and that way they bake up to a nice golden brown crust. I'm placing them into a preheated 400 degree oven for about 15 minutes just until they're nice and golden brown on top. Alright, they're nice warm out of the oven. Mmm, see that golden brown deliciousness I was talking about? Now all you have to do is let these cool uh, just a little bit because you know if you bite right into them right now you're gonna get burned so be careful. But I suggest just eating them as is or you can go nuts. Just add powdered sugar on top, a scoop of ice cream, caramel sauce, hmm, what else? Whipped cream? Any of those would be fantastic or like I said, as is, they're good to go. I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching this recipe for fried apple turnovers. For the full recipe, you can visit my blog, thesillygirlskitchen.com. See you there!